boxing progression at Tamar has been, you know, been very widespread, but at the same time, very focused at a high level, um, I would say borderline elite level boxing, you know, as it is, as boxing is as a traditional art form. Um, Coach Tom Zarita was out of school. Um, he had, he, his family members are a family called Gary Russell. Gary Russell Jr. right now is a current WBC featherweight champion of the world. He just fought recently, defending the title at the MGM in Washington, D.C. Um, and through that, if you saw like an old school team Lord Irvin, um, our 30 day free video probably 15 years ago, Gary Russell was actually in the video on a 30 day free promotion. Um, he, he was only like 14, 15 at the time, but a lot of people accused us for speeding the um, video up because his hands were so fast, but like I said, now they know, you know, it, it wasn't, you know, sped up at all. That's how he's always been. Robert, Coach Herb, we call him Coach Herb. He's absolutely amazing. He trained Gary Russell and them for a decade plus. Um, and then he was a 2008 Olympic team coach. And then he took a hiatus from coaching uh, adults. I mean, and when he came back, he started teaching only kids. He has a, a, a team called the Untouchables. If you, if, you Google, if you Google search the Untouchables, these kids are absolutely amazing. They go all, all around the country competing and so forth. And you know, I, I anticipate in the next five, six, seven, years that these kids are going to become world-class elite level adult boxers but um, Coach Herb does not teach any adults at all and one of my friends and students uh, Marshall Thompson was really good friends with Coach Herb um, when Coach Herb was at the Gary Russell's gym and I called Marshall and asked Marshall could he get uh, Coach Herb to train Sadiq and I said I, I wanted Coach Herb for a long time um, long story short he, he made the phone call Coach Herb told us to bring him down, see what he thinks, and you know, like Sadiq's a very nice, humble guy. Coach Herb is, you know, you know, like very low key, very quiet. You know, just does his thing and, and produces results from his team. And um, so he came down and he, he took a liking to Sadiq, and Sadiq is the only adult that um, Coach Herb trains in. But the system and the techniques are just crazy. But Coach Herb. The angles, the movements, the power they're generating, the speed they're generating, the time the, and the effort and energy they're putting into with similar techniques, you know. And you may be over there working on your jab for six months, it's, it's crazy. Um, but the results are there. And like I said, over the next few years, I, I, I can't wait to see how Sadiq uh, learns and develops within that st style and system. Well, we're going to go try to film there. I'm going to message him first, though, because, like, uh, if you Google him, you're not going to find anything of him teaching and instructing or anything. He, d he does not like to be on film. He's very private um, and, you know, does his own thing. And, but the results are absolutely amazing. You see results from the kids and the results from everyone he works with. So like that, I'm going to text him and see what he says. All right, I got a text message from Master Lloyd saying um, they're going to be filming some footage of boxing workouts, which when this whole thing started, you know, I figured we're going to record everything I do outside of boxing because I know Coach Herb, not only is he not a media kind of guy, he also like shuns cameras, you know, he doesn't really like to be on the camera that much. But Master Lloyd texted me, he was like, yeah, today we're going to get some footage of boxing and blah, blah, blah. And I was already expecting the worst. I'm really surprised he showed up. I was honestly, I was so nervous for the training session. I showed up a whole hour early. I was hoping to meet him before the ca before the cameras got set up and talk to him. Like, all right, please, we're just gonna do a quick quick ten minutes or whatever you can to to make him feel more comfortable with it because I know he hates that stuff. Uh, it's nine o'clock. About to get some boxing rounds in with Coach Herb. I usually work with him around seven o'clock at Kenilworth Rec Center. But today's a holiday, so training is a little shifty because we don't know if the restaurant is going to be open. So we changed the schedule up a little bit. Here we come, yo. Here we go. What's going on Here now? we come, yo. What's Here going we go. on now? Here we come, yo. Here we go. What's going on Here now? Here we come, yo. Here we go. Here we come, yo. Here we go. What's going on Here now? Here we come, yo. What's Here going we go. on now? Here we come, yo. 
Here we go. What's going on Here now? We come, yo. Here we go. Here we go. Once again, here we go. Yeah, the whole time we was working on the bag, and he's just whispering in my ears like, all right, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, because he's not trying to let um, the camera pick up what he's doing. He doesn't like fixing his techniques and stuff on camera. He doesn't like showing what he's working on because he doesn't want other people to s study his footage and use him against the kids. He works with a lot of kids from around here and a, he has a big amateur program. So he was really nervous about that. I don't, I don't do techniques on, on camera. I don't, as, as a coach, where I learn stuff is, I want to camera and watch everybody else. <laughs> yeah, I'm smart sense. enough not to put my techniques and stuff on camera. So I want nobody picking up what I do. Right. After we was done, we was trying to get him to open up more. His girl tried to get him to open up more in the interviews. Yeah, he, he gave it a good shot. You know, he, he tried to, he got back in front of the camera. He gave a good five seconds and they were like, ah, nah, this is not for me, man. I'm just a good boxing coach. And I completely understand, man. He's been like that forever. All I need from him is the great boxing knowledge. I don't need him to be Mr. Media Personality.